What's up, everyone? Um, I thought I'd do one of my nightly divination rituals. Um, I don't know, it's the Lucifer Tarot that called to me this time again, um, probably because it's the most informative and it tells it like it is. Um, I'm going to be doing the, the pentagram, yeah, the pentagram layout, so um, you guys should be familiar with that, so, um, yeah, Lucifer Tarot by Ingvar Babushka, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> August has been a crazy month for me. It has this year, too. So. I don't know if I'm going to break them or spread them out. Um, I could probably try spreading them out, but we'll see. Maybe get some insight into my worries and anxiety and nervousness. Let's just spread them. I'm going to break them and then spread them out. So, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm not one of those professional card tossers that can spread them out all nice and <laughs> you know, um, so we're just going to see if I can do it this way, try to get it all on my table without fucking shit up. Like my life. <laughs> Everything's fucked up. Alright, so, um, we'll start with the first card, so I'll just... That. Okay, we have Corso. So, uh, <clears throat> this is at the core of the matter or the core of the issue. Um, it's 24 Corso. So, let me find that first and then I'll switch it over to the other side and you guys can see what I'm seeing so all right so Corso trying to get that glare off of it there so that's every time I get closer to it it seems to all right, so here's Corsell, Arcana number 24, so um, Corsell. Arcana 24, Corsell, the 24th Lord of Darkness, Corsell, commander of 48 legions of hell spirits, is known as a duke of, of the element of air. He patronizes and inspires those following the path of mysticism. He should be summoned as a solitary place on a Monday after sunset during a full moon when the sun is in the air triangle. For the ceremony to work, the sorcerer must should be in a violet robe. Corsell controls the power of air. He can generate unbearable noise, disorder, and confusion. Thus, he can promote 
misunderstandings between people that potentially could have a devastating effect, e.g. conflicts within a lovely family, clashes between, uh, try to get that back to you guys, down there, all right, there. Uh, clashes between members of a team and other potentially career-destroying quarrels. Followers of Corn Cornell is it Cornell? Yeah, Corsell. Okay. Followers of Corsell are known to have used his magical power to hinder a person's attention to or focus on something. For example, during tournaments or exams, when being summoned. He manifests himself in the form of a beautiful angel with a blinding radiance. Uh, astrology 26 through 30 degrees of Cancer, parentheses 15-19.07, time of day 7.40 to 8 o'clock. Keyword pleasure, place of manifestation, any place during strong winds. Uh, words of power, arga hot omno pitual. Uh, magical characteristics, obstruction of an enemy's plans, predictive properties. The Corinth has finally freed himself and herself from binding obsession, such as the need for social acceptance, dependence on others, opinion, and the attachment to certain people and ideas. This person is now ready to enjoy life to the fullest and find joy in carnal pleasures. So this is at the heart of the, the reading. So it says, yeah, the Corinth has finally freed himself, herself from binding obsessions such as, need, as the need for social acceptance, dependence on others, opinion, and the attachment to certain people and ideas. This person is now ready to enjoy life to the fullest and find joy in carnal pleasures. And that's at the core of the mat issue for this reading, so. All right. That's just the start of the reading. Let's go into the deeper part, so... This is the negative factor of the reading. For some reason, I don't think I'm going to like this reading at all. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, who we have is Vine. I'm sorry, I forgot to leave that up for you guys to see. Um, so it's Vine. I'll let you see that right quick. So this is Vine, the negative factors that are influencing the current right now. So let me show you Vine. If I can get that, there we go. So that's fine. It's just starting off too smoothly, this reading, so we'll see what happens. Arcana 66, Vine, the 66th Lord of Darkness, Vine, commander of 36 legions of hell spirits, is the Earl of. Emperor Azamodi's third palace and patron of witches and sorcerer. Uh, this lord is to be summoned on a Tuesday during the f new moon with the sorcerer facing towards the west. Vine causes storms, unravels mysteries, vanquishes the summoning wizard's enemies and provides defense for attacks. He manifests himself as an ostrich. Astrology 26 through 30 degrees of Aquarius, parentheses 10-14, 
dot o two parentheses time of day twenty one forty to two twenty two o'clock keyword leviathon's master of magic place of manifestation anywhere but a sorcerer should be completely alone words of power urbento patanusa uikio magical characteristics defending and attacking present presenting all witches and sorcerers predictive properties arcana 66 indicates the presence of a spouse or married person in the corn's life okay so see Okay, it says Arcana 66 indicates the presence of a spouse or a married person in the corn's life. And this is in the negative factor. Okay, so. So I have to go back and forth like this, but I have the cards all splayed out. I don't know if you guys can see them all splayed out like this. So they're all splayed out. Um, I'll try, let me try to do this instead of going back and forth like this because that can be a pain in the ass. All right, um, okay, so I'm gonna do this and um, you guys will just see what I do. I got my eyes closed, so. All right, for some reason I feel like this one, or maybe under this one, I feel like, I don't know if it's that one. This one keeps telling me to pick it up. Who do we have? Astaroth. Now this is in the positive, so this is going to be the positive um, factor that's influencing this reading. So Astaroth, and he's number ten. Okay, so we have Astaroth. Astaroth, Arcana number 10. Arcana 10, Astaroth, the 10th Lord, Lord of Darkness. Astaroth, a commander of 40 legions of hell spirits, sits on the throne of the second palace of Abaddon. His exhalation is so deadly that the summoning sorcerer must wear a special magic ring on his left hand forefinger to remain unharmed. This dark lord will reveal secrets of the fallen spirits to the summoning magician and additionally endows the latter with exceptional skills. In the science, Astaroth is a clairvoyant whose foresight can make a sorcerer very rich. He manifests himself as a beautiful angel riding a dragon with a scepter snake in his right hand. Astrology 16 through 20 degrees of, of Taurus, parentheses 06 10 dot 05, parentheses, time of day 3 o'clock to 320, key words, contract place of manifestation anywhere as long as he is summoned on a Thursday with the sorcerer facing towards the west. Words of power, I owe, I think I'm saying that, I owe, Ishto, Varduk, Maho, Tobine. Uh, magical characteristics, expertise in the science, attracting money, predictive properties, the corn should aim at signing contracts that are beneficial to all involved parties. This will in turn prompt an accelerated career progress. Okay, so the positive aspect of this is, or the positive part of this is, uh, the predictive qu qualities is the current for 
Estoroth. Um, the Quarant should aim at signing contracts that are beneficial to all involved parties. And this will in turn prompt an accelerated career progress. So, so far everything's pointing to um, maybe a job, um, getting started on a business, career, employee, employee some kind of financial uh, uh, safety net, I guess. So that's what Astaroth is about. So and that's the positive qualities of the of this reading. All right. So now we're gonna go through this again this is going to be in the nearest future so I, mean, I just feel it's like over here let's try that oh no is that Earth? Okay, this is the nearest future. I'm trying to readjust these cards because they're getting all. So, in the nearest future is Beareth number 19. Um, Let's see, Arcana 19, we have Beareth, the 19th Lord of Darkness. Uh, he's in the nearest future. So, Arcana 19, Beareth, the 19th Lord of Darkness. Beareth, ruler of 85 legions of hell spirits, is one of the highest dukes of the Western Hemisphere. Not only he is considered the father of al alchemy, he is also a first-class clairvoyant. A feature of his praise, his praise by magic art practitioners. The Duke helps his followers conceal the truth and distract people's thoughts. He manifests himself in the form of a reigning warrior. Riding his golden red horse on his head lies a beautiful golden crown with rare jewels, gems, I'm sorry, a sorcerer may gain considerable fame and power if he makes use of the tal to said a special magical ring during the summoning ceremony. But this is possible only if the to said bears a unique sacral s symbol and is produced from the equal mixing of gold and silver when the sun is in the Aries and the moon is in Sagittarius. Astrology 1 through 5 degrees of Cancer parentheses 20-24.06 parentheses, 20 .06 parentheses time of day 6 o'clock to 6.20 keyword disappointment, place of manifestation, battle sites, words of power, agrosi atinia, Ioga, Jai, Magical Characteristics, Predictions, Predictive Properties. The Quarren is extremely disappointed. Time has been wasted without any result. The shift of perceptual standpoint is due. So there's going to be um, a change, all right? So there's going to be a shift. All right, here we go again, folks. Let's find out the total result. I don't know what I feel. Okay, Dante Lion. That's the result and outcome. So, 
Dante Lion is the result and outcome of this reading, number 26. And I just opened it up by happenstance. So, um, Arcana 26. Dante Lion, the 26th Lord of Darkness. Dante Lion, who rules 36 legions of hell spirits, is a duke of the sixth palace of darkness. Dante Lyon can be a very powerful hypnotist, and he is not hesitant to pass on this skill to the summoning magician. He is known to have affected people's thoughts against their will and to repeat, reveal the deepest thoughts of specific individuals to sorcerers. He has also helped magicians to control people's choices and actions by making them act upon false information especially during legal proceedings and the closing of business deals. Dante Lyon manifests himself as a man with many faces, hands, and legs, and he is in the habit of carrying a black book in his arms. He should always be summoned during the new moon. Astrology 6 through 10 degrees of Leo, parentheses 25-29.07, parentheses, Time of day, 8.20 to 8.40. Keyword, treachery. P place of manifestation, territories illuminated by the new moon. <clears throat> Words of power, Saxtrier, Gradjadine, I, I, wait, Saxter, right there. Saxter, Gradjadi, Bar. I think that's how you say it. Anyways. Uh, in do, what, what does he do? Uh, magical characteristics, inducing hallucinations, zombifying, predictive properties. The corn should expect treachery from people he, she trusts, especially those who are well acquainted with the specifics of his or her professional endeavor. Oh, fuck. What do we say to this? Um, reading. So, so apparently this is the reading. So there's going to be treachery, it sounds like. And um, whatever's going to happen, you know, uh, the current in this reading, I see it for, even for myself that I'm... I'm going to have to find out some other sources of income that that might be um, wise t into looking into right now, you know. So, because I think what we're getting from this reading is that there's someone, there's this like freedom that's at the core of the issue with course cell. So the current feels free, feels liberated, doesn't care about anyone. And then there's a married person in the current's life. Um, and this married person, um, what will come of this is that the current needs to start considering alter alternative um, ideas to um, gain income and not be so uh, uh, yeah maybe income but to to think about career options and then um, in the 19 um, we have Birith, and the Corrent is extremely disappointed. Time has been wasted without any results. Um, a shift of perception needs to be done, and it's due uh, for the nearest future. And then when we have the outcome and result, um, we have Dante Lion, and Dante Lion tells uh, the resulting outcome that people are familiar with what the current does. So, you know, there's the potential for tre treachery there, you know, that 
people, um, the Koran should expect treachery from people he, she trusts, especially those who are well acquainted with the specifics of his or her professional endeavors. So people are out there, if they know your shit, then they're spreading it around. It's like they're trying to uh, get you back or, or show you a lesson that, that doesn't make sense, you know. Um, so it's like people are out to sabotage, you know, like that song from Beastie Boys, Sabotage. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. So, I guess there are a lot of snitches and whatever out there, you know, whatever they want to do. Uh, people that are are more interested in other people's uh, personal business and not enough in their own business and um, taking care of their own problems and issues. So, <coughs> so they're going to try to blackmail the current but I'm going to do one specific more read one reading more so what what advice can we get from this or what kind of thing can we do to to alter this fate okay so let's see The one underneath? I think so. Yeah, let's go to the one underneath. Maraboss. So, Maraboss is... That's our final draw of the card. So, let's see what Maraboss has. What, what can we do? What is... We're reaching out to the gods right now. To, you know, whatever beings out there to get some clarity as to what would be the best best solution so this is uh yeah arcana 46 maraboss the 46th lord of darkness Maraboss, ruler of 36 legions of hell spirits, is a governor of the first palace of the third hell, ruled by Lucifer in one of his guises. He is a patron of and an inspiration for philosophers and scientists. It is believed that several weapons of mass destruction have been developed and totalitarian regimes emerged in countries under his protection. His power is vast and multifarious. He is able to send diseases to people and then make them disappear. He can also endow m magicians with the ability to control the way they are perceived by people without actually altering their physical form. Maraboss manifests himself as a roaring lion, yet he is also able to assume human form. He is to be summoned on a Monday when the water and air triangles are in retrograde motion. Astrology 16 through 20 degrees of Scorpio, parentheses 02 06 11, parentheses, time of day 1500 to 1520, keyword money, place of manifestation on the day of the Mercury with the magician facing towards the east. Words of power, Chati Ag Agmat So Prihasu, I think that's how you say that. So, pat words of power, Chati Agmat So Prihasu. And magical characteristics, uh, wisdom, knowledge, causing and curing diseases, changing appearance, predictive properties. The quarant will receive a large sum of money, enough to realize every of his or her desires. Whoa. 
that just that was just like a fucking turn of events right now um that was just that threw me on my ass okay so um I don't know so that's Maribos once again uh what was that the uh, <sighs> predictive properties the quarant will receive a large sum of money enough to realize every of his or her desires so that's kind of like the turn of events like the left the yeah the left turn or um Something something that seems so uh, so tragedy stricken uh, seems like it might turn for something else. You know what they say about fortune. You know, you can't, uh, it can only be passed on, uh, so, you know, that's, it kind of, it's kind of bothersome to think that, you know, like, you can't take it to the grave with you, basically, it gets passed on, so, I mean, you know, whatever, Whatever thing that is uh, uh, affecting the current um, and whatever blackmail or treachery that they may face, um, that some kind of turn of events may happen where the current is bestowed a grand sum of money. Um, I don't know how this will initially play out all in all, but I, I'm trying to wrap my head around such theories or thoughts or speculations as to what could evolve from this. So, anyways, uh, <coughs> I don't know if you like this reading but as we can see there is treachery that's going to be involved uh the corn is free to do what they will or what they want um but there is a married person in the corn's life that is going to try to sabotage um the corn so the corn should start thinking about signing contracts towards career development um but with Beareth in the 19th 19 said uh, yeah that a shift or uh, it's time for a shift of perception but yet there's some treachery involved with Dante Lyon and and then we have Maribas as even though it's the overall this is like the, the big advice right here um so, large sum of money, eh? What can you say? Anyways, thank you for watching, uh, Manji. And I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.